Okay, I thought I would do a quick um, review of the Formula F11 top coat. I decided to go ahead and spend uh, the $60 on a, on a bottle of C. Supposedly, it gives you good results, good shine, good protection, minimal effort. I've already coated the truck once and really happy with the results so far. It really has brought out the, uh, the metal flake in the paint. Like when I was in the sun today, I actually could notice that it was uh, almost looked like a different color. It looked like a brighter blue hmm. than, you know, than what we originally see the truck as. Of course, now the sun's kind of setting down here a little bit, but it feels really good. So I'm gonna try it on the, uh, on the RV nose cap here. This black is painted and it does have metal flake in it. So I'm gonna get up here real quick and do a little bit of it to see what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just spray a few sprays on, wipe it on. already see the metal flake coming out more. It's pretty amazing. Wipe it on. And just wipe it back off. It is super shiny and super slick. Wow. Can you tell down there already? Yeah, it looks like a mirror finish now. I know. It's <clears> crazy. <throat> Over here. I mean, you just, you can just feel it. It's so slick. I can see your reflection in the <coughs> nose cap. Let yeah. me come over here and see if I see you as much over here. I mean, I, I see quite you. reach all the way to the top. I see you, but it's, I see you more over here. Yeah, it's, it seems like it's almost like more high definition reflections. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You can. Um, I can see over there. It's more like a shadow, and over here, I can see like your face more. You know, yeah. like I can see the definition. So I mean, sixty dollars seems kind of high, but I've already done our Ford Escape completely. I've done our truck completely. Actually, some places I've actually went over it and given it two coats, and I, and I still have like well, well over half a bottle left. Basically, this one little bottle did the whole truck, and then I refilled it and did the... Actually, I did the van first with this bottle. It took just a little bit more than this bottle on the truck. The truck's got more, obviously bigger, more area to cover. <clears throat> Man, this feels nice and slick. I want to eventually do the whole RV with it, because I think it does. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have some UV protection in it. I don't know if that's a chip there in the paint or if that's a flaw. It's a flaw in the paint, I think. So I didn't even see that flaw in the paint until I actually <laughs> put this stuff on. And I've waxed this before and I never noticed that before. Man, it just feels how slick it is. Yeah, beautiful. Let's try it on the white. Let's see if we notice any difference on the white. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and show. Okay, here, like mm -hmm. through here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let the coughing begin. Mm. I need to clean these streaks off first. Mm -hmm. but That's what I was wondering. If those streaks are gonna, yeah, be a problem. I wonder are. if you do this, if it'll seal it in. You can take this off with the. Uh, if you wash it with Dawn dish soap. Oh okay. It'll definitely feel slicker. Yeah, I can definitely see the shine more. Feel it. Oh yeah. You feel it here and then you feel it here. <clears throat> yeah, definitely can feel a difference. 
I'll go ahead and try it on the try a little spot on the side here. Let's go through the I'll do some of the white and some of the decal. good on everything like the metal and everything <clears throat> you can definitely tell when you start rubbing it back off with this dryer a cleaner cloth it's really slick wow mm-hmm yeah. okay Let's so definitely recommend it two thumbs up okay I'll definitely buy more of it All for right. sure <laughs>